everyone, welcome back to the Rediscovery Effect with Park Bench. I am Bobby, and today our interview guest is Mia with the Impeccable Pig. Thanks for joining us, Mia. Hi. Um, so tell us a little bit about your store here. What do you guys do with the Impeccable Pig? Okay, so here we are at the Impeccable Pig in our San Antonio location. We are a pretty big corporation, um, but very localized. So um, we're only one store here in San Antonio. Um, our major Cities are Dallas is where we have like our four and that's where we trickle down to San Antonio and we stay really small and local but um, we're still really community ran with um, our very mom and pop, mom and daughter um, clothing line, I guess. Okay, perfect. So you mentioned that y'all are um, a sister store to Dallas. Can you tell us a little bit about how you guys got started? Yes, yeah, so it became, it was actually a furniture store. Um, it was called The Impeccable Pig. That's where we got our name from. Um, it was a mom and a sister and as you know, time went by, um, the mom started having kids and one of the girls became really interested in fashion and she actually you know, started putting a little clothing line here and there in the furniture store and then when they figured out like, hey, this is, stuff is moving, everyone loves what she's wearing and she's just like the cutest girl ever. So um, they just started focusing solely on the clothing stuff and it became like mom and daughter as opposed to like mom, daughter, aunt. Um, okay. So yeah. And then I guess at that point the furniture line went away and it just became clothing? Yes. Okay, well kind of, uh, that's an interesting story. You don't see that happen very often. Yeah, they wanted to just kind of focus on a shop where moms and daughters can both um, buy at the same time, but also like no one's gonna get too, there's not gonna be a lot of scuffles happening because everything's gonna be appropriate and um, well designed and well like curated in here. That's great, I have uh, two daughters myself, so definitely had to have some talks during those teen years about <laughs> Um, didn't quite agree with some of their clothing choices, so it's good to hear the talk, make sure everything is appropriate. So tell us a little bit about why you guys chose this area of San Antonio to open your store. Um, they want to stay very much in communities that are very like tight-knit and close, and they like the idea even being in Snyder Plaza or in P Legacy Plano um, of being in a store where they can connect to their community, and Alamo Heights was really a, a city in San Antonio that offered that. Yeah, it's a, it's a great little uh, niche neighborhood here. It's very popular. So how long have y'all been open at this location, Alamo Heights? We have been here for 12 years. So we were down at the end of this um, strip center and we slowly moved our way back into like the middle about four years ago. Okay. Um, what would you say like you personally, what your favorite thing is about the Alamo Heights neighborhood? Um, well, I love Bird Bakery. I love all the little tiny shops that are very like mom and pop owned, very community. Everyone kind of walks in and you kind of know everyone's name more or less. I know definitely in, um, here in the pig, we definitely have like some customers that like I could tell you their daughters and like all their kids names and stuff. Okay. And that's really special to me. So the, the norm to the cheers crowd. Got it. Got it. Have you guys noticed any like changes to the neighborhood since you've been here? Um, I know we've opened up the Nectar, so that was like a bigger franchise one that moved in here, but it's still very like also really like locally owned. They try to do a lot of events with the community and stuff like that. Okay, perfect, and that's your um, sister. So I guess like sister, sister neighbor. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, so how long have you been with the Impeccable Pig? I myself have been with the Impeccable Pig for the past three years. Okay. In that time, can you think of anything that maybe um, one of your clients, your um, customers have said to you that, that you found really flattering or that was uh, just kind of made you feel good about the business that you're doing here? Um, it's definitely those back to those mom and daughter, you know, arguments when they're in the fitting room and no one wants to, no, one person wants one thing and a person, mom wants a totally different thing and it's just being able to be like, I think it looks great, but let's try something else or, you know, definitely trying to subside those okay. like little tiffs that happen every once in a while. All right, so serving as the mediator. Yes, <laughs> Calming everyone very down. calm, yes. Okay. Recenter everyone, that's perfect. Um, can you um, give us um, a little bit of an insight on, um, other than you know the, the mom-daughter shopping and the mediating some of those family issues <laughs> within the shopping community, um, why do you feel like it's really important for the locals to come in and support these, these small businesses? Well, we definitely want to serve the community and we want to like have pieces that bring that people will have for their events for the community and you know 
very much like, oh, where did you get that? But we definitely need people to come in in order to, you know, sell through things. And we only get one pack of everything, which means we don't really get like a huge um, run. So a lot of our pieces are really unique. So you okay. probably won't really find anyone else wearing, you know, the same dress at you as you at your events that you are going to. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely understand that. Uh, so it looks like pretty much um, one of the, I won't say necessarily one of the kind of items, but um, small batches. Small right? batches, yes. So we keep, we try to keep a low inventory. Yeah, so not a lot of mass produced stuff that you're going to see on the shelf at some of the big yeah. stores. Perfect, perfect. All righty. Um, well, tell us a little bit more as far as if somebody wanted to come in and check your inventory, where can we find you? Um, you can find us at www.theimpeccablepig.com or we are at on Instagram and Facebook at The Impeccable Pig. Um, we are here in San Antonio at Al in Alamo Heights at 5924 Broadway Street. Um, and what's your phone number? I just want to give you a call. 210-824-0205. Perfect. All right, guys. Again, that's Mia. We're here at The Impeccable Pig. And this is Bobby Owens with the Rediscovery Effect, Lux Agency Real Estate. Let me know if I can help you with any real estate in the downtown. We'll talk soon. Thank Bye. You.